Hey, what's up everybody? It just came out a couple weeks ago that some of these new SSD makers are uh, confirming that they have compatible drives for expanding into your PlayStation 5. Um, now, Sony then came out and said that there's a beta you can sign up for uh, that will come out, that'll launch wide soon enough. Not sure when, but I've got some, some guesses on that. Um, that'll make it so your, your software is compatible with this new uh, SSD that you can put in. So we're gonna go through that and test it out and see how it does. And these steps will work, should work, when the official software launches. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and figure it out. And yes, I am still rocking my old uh, dipped PlayStation. So this is still my dip, it's still holding strong. Still looks great, um, uh, I, I at least think so. Um, but uh, if you wanna see that video, I'll link it above. Um, but what we're gonna be installing is we're actually gonna be installing this Western Digital Black. Um, I put these in my laptops too, so this is great that this was a compatible one. Um, you can actually see that this comes with a heat sink installed on it. That is mandatory for this. You have to have one that has this. So um, you can't just get the little bare bone one. I think it'll just melt. I don't know. All right, let's go through the let's go through the process, starting with the download and how you get the beta. Okay, if you have not already done it, you're going to need to sign up for the software beta for PlayStation Five. Um, here's the URL to do that. I will also post this in the description so you can find it there. Um, basically, uh, you hit register now. And um, as long as you're, you know, 18 years old, you're a human, uh, not a bot, you're an account in good standing. Um, go away, ghostery. Uh, tracking stuff. Anyway, uh, as long as you're in good standing, you can, uh, you should be eligible for it. I don't know what the selection process is for how they uh, choose people for this, but um, this is the first one I've seen too. I don't know if there there have been other betas that you could sign up for, you know, this the software. But anyway, you hit up here, you go sign in, and um, it'll uh, it'll kick you through the process. Basically, it just attaches it to your account, adds your email, um, and if you get one, you will get an email that says, "Hey, go enter this code," and that's how you sign up. Um, so basically, you redeem the code. It brings you to this thing. Um, you run an install. You then go to uh, your settings. Go to system over to system software update and settings and you'll have a new option here that says update system software beta click that it'll install when you're done doing that turn off your playstation it'll need to be off for what we're about to do now for the actual install um, a couple things we're going to need get a rag um, something just soft for you to put your playstation on you don't want to scuff these things up um, more than you need to and the side we're going to be working on is if you have the physical version, it's the uh, side with the disc reader. So you're gonna want this side, yeah, this side here. And if you have the digital version, it's the side that doesn't have the PlayStation logo. So you've got the logo in the upper corner, go to the other side, because that's the side we're gonna be using. So let's start by getting this thing off here. These are extremely handy kits, by the way. If you uh, ever have to get into your laptop or work on any little, little small electronics like that, it's got every possible head. Um, love these things. And it even comes with little openers and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm not trying to pitch that thing, but God, it's useful. Okay, that's off. Put it in the storage. Put it over here. All right. Um, haven't done this for a while. It's been months. But if I remember right, you grab on the side back and you pull up. Oh, yeah, that comes right off. Okay, there we go. So let me show you again. You're going to grab the corner, the bottom, and you basically, the opposite corner. So this is the front of the PlayStation. You're going to be grabbing the side that has all of the, the back piece. Grab that upper corner. And you're going to actually be lifting up and back. So it's kind of like an up and back. The bottom part, you're just pushing on it with your palm. Kind of pushing on the base of the unit too. Twink! Pops right up. So there we go. Tops off. Sun's out, gun's out. Um, this is our SSD expansion slot. So this should be pretty easy. That looks pretty small. Um, wow, they even put the... They even have um, embossed PlayStation 
console buttons on the uh, little screw in here. That's kind of neat. I missed that the first time I ever pulled this open. Let's go number two. <laughs> Let's go number two. Don't go number two on this video. All right, here we go. Two is the magic number. That screws off. We're going to set that right here and pop this puppy open. Oh, it pops right here. Okay. Uh, inside this, you've got numbers here. You got like a 30, 42, 60, 80, um, 110. This is referring to the size that you've got. These should be that 80 range. I'm talking out my ass. Uh, we'll find out in just a sec. But um, so we're going to basically pop out one of these, the screw right here, this 110 one, and put it in one of these depending on which size it fits into. Uh, you're gonna put, you're gonna go in at an angle with the install on this. So we can turn that way, I can zoom in from the top. You're gonna go in at an angle and then push it down. So if you've never done an SSD before, uh, no worries. It can be intimidating because you, you'll, you'll think like, I need to put it in straight. <laughs> um, no, you, you don't, you can go at an angle. God, this is getting naughty. All right, how do I get this thing? So this is the first I've pulled this sides off in months since I painted my PlayStation again back in January. And, oh uh, yeah, there's some dust in there. I could probably blow this all out. Yeah, might actually take a compressor and get some of that dust out. Okay, so this is tiny. This is way, way smaller than the 110, so it's obviously not this long. It's going to probably fit 80, just like I was thinking. Uh, this thing is super cute. I'm gonna show this up close so you can see it. Because if you ever thought a hard uh, SSD was cute, you're gonna think this one's it. Look at this. It basically, it should just be called Dorbs. Look at that. Adorable. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to do this while I'm standing here. But when you look inside this thing, you're gonna see it's kind of foolproof because of the way these face. And you're gonna basically put it in at an angle here. Slide it in. Oops. Slide it in. See how it's kind of poking up? Just a, t a hair. And you just simply put it down. Now we're gonna take this screw out of the number 110 and put it into this one. We don't drop the screw. Okay, so we pulled that screw out of this little 110 section. There's also a little uh, nut looking thing. We need that too. Um, so we're gonna take that and slide it in to place. So now that nut is over the thing. I'll take a picture of it. All right, so grab that little plate that back on here. Oh yeah, here's the, let me show you the thing I was talking about. I'm not sure if this is gonna pick up. Let's see the little PlayStation characters. I'm not sure if this will pick up on either of these cameras. But pretty cool. Subtle details on this console. Okay, so we got that screwed back on. Now we're taking the outer case. Now with this, you're basically gonna put it back on the exact same way it came off. So we're gonna put it in this corner like this, and I'm gonna grab two different spots. I'm gonna grab right here and right back here, and I'm gonna push directionally down this way. And you'll feel it, obviously, a snap uh, when it goes back into place. There we go, we're all set. Now we're gonna go into the next place, which is getting this thing set up and, uh, and ready. So. Let's do that. All right, so PlayStation's hooked all back up again, and uh, now we're just going to uh, boot it up and see what prompts up on the TV. Let me get this tripod set up.
Fire Station turns on automatically with the TV turning on. It's gonna say PS4 because that's the HDMI I'm using. Okay, here we go. So here's the automatic prompt that pops up the second we boot up. At least we know we put it in right, right? Uh, let's see, gotta turn on the controller. We want to format this, so if you can read that, it's giving me the, oh boy, this is hard. I wish I just had a, there we go. Uh, you do want to format this. So we're going to format the M2 SSD. Looks like it doesn't let you choose what type it makes sense because it's gonna control it. Uh, let's see. Read speed is this. If you experience any problems, that's interesting. Try, try installing it into the regular game storage. Okay. Your M2 has been formatted. To change where your games are installed, go to settings, storage, installation, location. To remove it, turn off your PS5 first. Rebuilding database. Um, the beta also gives you this prompt every time you boot up. Oh, jeez. New controller. That's me. All right, so we are going to go to settings, storage. We've got console storage. Okay, so here we go. So we've got, you can see the Western Digital one right there. Can I rename this? Is there a way to rename this? Oh, that would have been cool. Maybe in the official release. So I've got, um, here's my console storage. You can see I already, I'm already out of space. I keep having to delete games. It's obnoxious. We're gonna move a game right now. Let's try, uh, let's try moving. This is pretty small. Um, well, let's move Sackboy. Select items to move. So we got Sackboy, let's return, move Returnal, just to see how long these are. Uh, available after moving, it drops me down to 200, and then the other one I still have 912. You can see that over on the right. So that's pretty cool. All right, here we go, move. Items you want to move, total size 86 gig, do it. All right, it seems like it's taking a long time, but you gotta remember this is moving 86 gigs. So <laughs> that's a good chunk. I'm not sure if when you go to download something, if it gives you the selection choice of where you wanna download it to. We'll test that too though. All right, it moved. Let's see, uh, let's go to them now. Let's see. So I've got Returnal still pops up on my screen here. Yep, just still says play game, even though it's on that other drive. So it still has it in your home, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna have to turn the volume down though, because this game will get loud. So let's, um, let's actually just mute it. <clears throat> just to test this. Actually, I'm going to leave the audio on for a sec, and you'll just have to see what it looks like, because I want to make sure the sound comes through well, too. And if my phone is uh, auto-adjusting to the light in this room, it's because I'm playing in a dark basement. Looks like it, can't tell if it's stuttering. Oh, it looks good.
I like forgot how to play this. All right, that's uh, let's stop there. Looks like it's working awesome. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to the. Uh... Home and I want to see if I put this to sleep. I know you're probably let's mute it again. You're going to cringe, but I'm going to put this into rest mode because I want to see what happens. So I want to be in game. Let's go back to Returnal. Let's return to Returnal. All right, so I'm gonna go to rest mode while I'm sitting right here. Let's see what this does. Because does it immediately go back to this hard drive? Or sorry, SSD. So we're gonna go in a rest mode. Watch, I'm gonna brick it right now while I'm on, on camera. Just waiting for the PlayStation light to turn off. off. Oh no, the light's still going. Okay, here we go. Goes back to Returnal, and there I am. Folks, this works. So far, so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple other games on here. I've been playing a ton of, um, Tribes of Midgard lately, so I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna put that on here and see how that does. Give us some hours of play. Actually, I might play some more Returnal. I haven't played this in months. God, this is a really fun game. Um, but uh, otherwise, looks great. Seems to respond just fine. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to test? Oh, downloading. Let's go try downloading real fast. Uh, let's see. So let's go to my library, right? What do I not have on here? I don't have... Maneater. Shit, yeah, I do. Um, oh, these are installed. Let's go to the collection. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, this game is. This was something. Let's see what happens when I choose download. Download. So, yeah, you can't choose. So it's automatically downloading. What is this? Update file copying, no title. Hangman 3. What the hell is this? Pause that.
Yeah, so I have no way to stop this from going to the regular one. Whatever there's a setting. Installation location. Oh, yeah, there you go. Set the default installation location. Oh, there you go. Okay, so solved it. You got a default right here, installation location. So I'm going to set this M2 as my default. Let me go back to that uh, really good free game of the month. Uh, look, I'm not here to crap talk anything, but uh, I already deleted this game. And let's go back to store. Oops, I need my library. I'm still so used to the PlayStation 4. All right, so not installed. I need my collection. Let's go. You know what? Let's install tennis. How stoked were you guys when you saw we had a free tennis game? I'm just kidding. I, I know there's probably someone out there that really is stoked. Downloading. How big is this freaking game? The PlayStation 4 game? All right, well, we're not going to see how that goes. I'm going to, you know what, I'll let you know in the comments. Um, one, how good this tennis game is. And two, how well it works uh, downloaded directly to this and installed directly to this drive. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching. That's all for my video. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm pretty sure this is going to work the exact same when this launches. Now, the launch is the other piece. I noticed that when uh, I was signing up for this, this beta, it gave me... A screen that said this beta, this code is only good until October. So if it's only good until October, that would tell me that the beta is no longer going to be a beta in October. So plan on maybe a November or late October release, my guess, total speculation. But anyway, uh, thanks again for watching this. Hopefully this was helpful. If so, please subscribe. Um, it helps me get more videos like this made. Thanks everybody. See ya.